Biba? Well, how do you get a job in something if you don't know it exists? Atlanta City Council president says that's what they're up against when it comes to getting women and people of color involved in science, technology, engineering and math careers. You may have seen the story on our website. Every senior graduating from Coretta Scott King Young Women's Leadership Academy this year. The public all girls school specializes in STEM subjects, and even though Atlanta ranks among the top 10 cities for STEM jobs, there's still a significant gap in the number of women and minorities filling those jobs. So Chrissy Etheridge takes us behind the headline. Forget the desks, grab the phones. The rules in this classroom are a little different. First, you're going to go four to zero with 77 speed. Welcome to Young Middle School's robotics class. The goal was to make it to the second box, and it did. It was a little challenging, I'm not, I ain't gonna lie. On this day, Atlanta City Council President Felicia Moore was here to observe. Watching these ladies here, they're so smart. And impressive. She's created a new initiative called More Exposure to get more girls involved in STEM. It's a play on her name, but it also hits at the heart of the issue. What do you think stops students from pursuing either a degree or an education or classes or even a job in a STEM field? I think what stops it is they don't even get started. Both women and minorities are underrepresented in science, technology, engineering, and math. According to Pew Research, about half of STEM workers believe limited access to quality education is why. We want to first of all let them know that it exists, and once they know it exists, then they'll have that interest and they'll find ways to find out more about it. Tell me something about Melting Point. For many students here, it's their first introduction to STEM. I love this class because it taught me a lot. A sixth grade class that could chart their future. <laughs> so they still have some things to learn, but it sounds like they already got the most important thing. I'm proving a little girl can just make it to the second bar just like any other boy or man could. The first more exposure event was this past weekend, invitation only and offered to schools with the highest underserved population. But Council President Felicia Moore says she plans to hold at least three or four more in the future.